I had been trying for a year to interview 1960s pop star Bobby V. V was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2011 and stopped touring. His family was concerned about how he would appear on camera, but in December they agreed to an interview. That's, that's it, my brother and myself. I met Bobby and his sons, Jeff and Tommy, at the family's studio in St. Joseph, a small town in central Minnesota. They were putting the finishing touches on Bobby's new CD, The Adobe Sessions. The album grew out of jam sessions a family held in Bobby's Adobe Garage near Tucson, Arizona after his diagnosis. Bobby is 70. He was alert and sharp, but acknowledged that his abilities are diminishing. He answered my questions, but his Alzheimer's affects his speech and makes it hard for him to get the words out. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's all stuff that, that, uh, that we have, uh, that, are, there were, we, that we lot like to song, to the songs. And, um, and so that's, that's enough for me, you know. That's, uh, that's, it's a feel-good it's, it's feel kind of thing. But Bobby still had the same sparkle in his eye and smile that he had in the 60s when he recorded Take Good Care of My Baby, which was a number one hit, Rubber Ball, and other hits. Bobby and his sons held an impromptu jam session in the studio while I was there with Bobby on acoustic guitar. Bobby was known as an excellent rhythm guitarist, and he still has those skills. Bobby got his break in 1959 as a 15-year-old in Fargo, North Dakota. The plane carrying rock and roll stars Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and J.P. the Big Bopper Richardson had crashed on its way to a concert in Moorhead, Minnesota. Bobby, his older brother Bill, and their garage band took the stage in Holly's place. Bobby was the only band member who could sing, and he told me he was scared to death. I, I, I couldn't believe that he died. Uh, you know, at that point, I, 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 had, he had, he, I had his record, and, um, and that was... Uh, and that kept me alive too, and um, and then all of a sudden, uh, I was getting my own records. But his career was launched that night, 55 years ago. Jeff Bannon, Minneapolis. Uh, that's fun.